Hi, I'm Patrick. I'm an engineer here at Agile Technologies. We try our best here to fulfill all our customers' test and measurement needs. So when we heard you needed more power, we knew we had to come up with a solution. This is the N8920A, one of 28 models in the N8900 Auto Ranging System DC Power Supply family. With up to 15 kilowatts in a single unit, if you have basic high power needs, this is the unit for you. In this video, I will show you some of the key functions and features of the unit, as well as give you a good overview of the product itself. Let's begin. The N8900 family comes in 5, 10, and 15 kilowatt models, with maximum outputs up to 1500 volts and 510 amps. However, if you need more than 15 kilowatts of power, you can use the, one of the key features of the family, the master slave configuration, which allows you to parallel multiple units up to 100 kilowatts of power, which is a lot of power, which is why we have built-in protection. With over voltage, over current, and over temperature, if testing goes wrong, your DUT is safe. Another key feature is its auto ranging output characteristic, giving you more voltage and current combinations as opposed to a rectangular output characteristic. Take for example this power curve of a rectangular power supply. If you want a 15 kilowatt model with a maximum of 1500 volts, you will only be able to draw 10 amps from the unit, maximum. However, look at the power curve for our auto rangers, which allows you to draw 30 amps from the same 15 kilowatt model with a 1500 maximum voltage output. The flexibility in the output saves money and rack space by not forcing you to buy another power supply if you need to cover the same voltage and current range. The 15 kilowatt model can achieve a maximum voltage output of 1500 volts and a maximum current output of 30 amps. All our units, even the 15 kilowatt model, comes in this 3 rack unit high, full rack width package. If we took a look here in the front panel, you see our permanently integrated rack ears, a large AC line switch, and if you're familiar with the N6700 modular power system family, you already know how to use this interface. With our LCD screen, our keypad and number pad, as well as these voltage and current controls. You can also notice here these large vents which allow air to flow in from the front and out the back. Speaking of which, let's take a look at the rear panel. Here in our rear panel, you can see our AC input line, which comes in 208 or 400 volt model. Here you can see our output bus bars. Over here, our remote sense connections, as well as our standard interfaces, GPIB, USB, and LAN, as well as analog program. Our remaining two connections are used to be used in parallel operation, with this being the current share connection, and these being the share buses. Next, let's take a look at this operation by turning it on. With the unit turned on, you can see how easy it is to change the outputs. You can use the knob for quick adjustments or the keypad for finer ones. If you look at the display, you can view your measurements either in voltage and current combinations, voltage and power combinations, or all three. If you access the menu, you can access many of the features. For example, protection. You can set the over voltage and over current protections as well as clear them if they ever trip. Now let's see the unit in action. So I've hooked up our N8900 to our battery operated forklift, so let's give them a lift. Are you guys ready? <laughs> this has been Agilent's N8900. With its auto ranging output characteristic, its ease of parallel operation, its built in protections and standard interfaces. It's a basic power supply with just the right amount of performance and a whole lot of power. Feel free to leave us suggestions in the comments and thanks for watching.